we are now working with Chiquito. They're a Mexican restaurant, uh, restaurant chain and they are going through quite an exciting kind of challenge, um, making themselves more relevant in both <laughs> social media, in the PR, etc. So we're working with them to do exactly that. Um, I'm really excited for this one because this is something that the social media team won off the back of their own content. So our TikTok team have been creating TikToks for Rise at Seven, and I believe we was going viral one day, and the Chiquito team saw our content, loved it, liked it, etc., got in touch with us off the back of it and said, we want that but for our brand, and we want it. So we're working with them um, for social media, for reactive marketing, um, and I'm really excited. Do you know what I love? If you type in TikTok SEO into Google, guess who ranks number one? Cost it us. <laughs> yeah, so obviously I wrote a guide all around TikTok SEO. Why did I do that? It's because there was a story all in the press actually, it made all the, all the headlines around how Gen Z's are using TikTok more than Google for their search queries. And that's mostly around, you know, where to go, travel tips, travel advice, restaurants, things like that, but also things like beauty hacks, etc, etc. Um, but more and more we're starting to see TikTok as a search engine. So I was like, listen, this is every single day, there's like a new feature or a new update where it comes to TikTok becoming a search engine. So I was like, I'm going to do a guide to TikTok SEO, how to rank number one for the terms that you're searching for on TikTok, how to get search volumes, how to also generate engagement, what is TikTok, etc, etc. There's a, there's a hashtag called TikTok made me buy it. Yeah. And it, that's a real thing. It's got multi like billions of views. Um, and that is, it's, it's the interesting thing is like TikTok as a, as a social media platform is influencing search behavior. It's making people want something more than ever. It has more influence than TV ads. That's the, that's the studies that are proving that TikTok has more influence. So in terms of becoming a search engine in itself, yeah, I don't think people are going to go onto TikTok and search for car insurance quotes. Yeah. It's never going to happen. But do I think they are taking search from YouTube? Absolutely, yes. Do I think people are going to go there because they want a quick answer to a solution, whether that's, right, I'm in New York right now and I really want a, a really amazing dessert place, where can I go? If I Google, you know, amazing dessert places in, in New York, there's going to be loads of articles to read through, probably loads of ads that I need to click off, etc, etc. Whereas there's a 15 second video on TikTok that gives me the answer immediately. And that's really why I think TikTok SEO or TikTok as a search engine is becoming more appealing to consumers. And it's because ultimately users want the answer fast and they're not getting a fast answer via Google. I think SEO has been proven to ruin SEO. Like, it's ruining search results. Um, I think there's a famous example of if you try Google how to make a scrambled egg or how to make a boiled egg, trying to get an answer in the top results is, it takes ages because there's ads that pop up, there's a live story that you have to go through, and then finally it reveals you know the ingredients and how to make it. Whereas if you go to TikTok, it literally tells you in the first video and it tells you in, in 10 seconds. So I think SEOs have historically ruined search results and now people go to TikTok because they want a quick answer. So I, do I think it's going to overtake Google as a search engine? No. And I said that in my, in my release, like people aren't going to go there because they want to book a holiday. They might go there in the initial stage when they're looking at awareness and consideration around where to go and places to see. But will they go there to book? No, they won't. But will they convert there? They could do. Google is written by SEOs. Yeah. And we're stuffing keywords in there or historically, like that's what SEOs did. Whereas TikTok is literally user generated. So people are saying, these are the places you should go visit or this is the best, you know, um, I know everyone's talking about skims at the minute, those kind of like sucky and kind of pants and things people wear underneath and everyone's doing reviews around the best ones. Or it could be the best foundations. People are trusting users' reviews more than they are what Google says. Um, and obviously, you know, we have paid ads um, on Google and at the minute, we're starting to get paid ads on TikTok, but really what people love is honesty, they love transparency. But I also think influencers are trusted more on TikTok at the minute because I think it's easier to become a TikTok influencer. All it is is I have an audience, I have following, um, and they're, they're more likely to be trustworthy. The only thing is, if you look at the data, TikTok is one of the least trusted social media platforms, not because of the user's content, but because of the way that TikTok is using their data. So trust is a big question mark around TikTok, but I actually think people do trust user-generated content more than they do Google's content. One thing I think people miss is actually the influence TikTok has off TikTok. So people see something on there and then they go to Google and they search for it. 
I'll give you an example. It was around September, October time, something like that. Um, a lot of influencers, Molly May, and you know, more of them were all in Dubai, all at once. Everybody was in Dubai. And I looked at search volumes. So we have obviously Rise Live which, and an Early Risers, which track search trends across different industries. And essentially on that morning, searches for D flights to Dubai went up. So TikTok, because people was posting there was in Dubai, literally impacted where people wanted to go on holiday. And the influence is huge. We're talking 200,000% increase. You know, it's, it's absolutely huge. Um, so what we are looking at is the influence that TikTok has on search volumes and consumer search demand off TikTok, on Google. So I'll give you an example of something. So Zara. Zara, they are working with influencers 24-7 to wear and post around Zara outfits, styles, inspiration, etc. And um, often we see that people are wearing a product, they then influence other people to want it, so then people then go to search for it. But actually what we noticed was people weren't searching for a Zara product, they were searching for the style. So for an example, one month they was pushing a very specific item, which is what made it easier to track, was pink jeans. Pink jeans is rare, like I've never worn a pair of pink jeans, so it's easy to track because you know we could see that all of a sudden it's gone up. Basically, there was a lot of influencers wearing these certain style of pink jeans, and there was all from Zara. Everybody was talking about it, trending, everybody wanted a pair of pink jeans, it landed in the press, you know, the viral TikTok kind of jeans that everybody wants to buy. And what happened was, is searches for pink jeans completely shot by about 800% like that well they weren't searching for Zara pink jeans they were searching for pink jeans and if you have a look onto Google the brand that ranked for pink jeans terms was next pretty little thing etc so Zara is creating search demand for a product they didn't even rank for and I again I think a lot of brands are getting this wrong so that's what made me think we need to reverse engineer this so if Zara are losing out on traffic because they're creating demand for a product they don't even rank for what if we pulled a list of products that we rank for position one and we create a demand around it because then when people are searching for that you know pink jeans or whatever style it is and we rank number one organically we're getting the traffic so that's what we did we did it for a pretty little thing we basically pulled a list of all of the products that they rank number one for we then created tiktok campaigns brand awareness campaigns to generate demand around a style of clothing and that style of clothing at the time was the halter neck top the halter neck top was not in at the time it's around searches for it was around thirty thousand a month and essentially the target was if we can increase this by 100 200 percent then we're going to get increased volume of traffic because we rank number one so we worked with influencers we did tiktok we did pr we did you know all of that sort of stuff and we made sure that we you know helped position one rankings within two weeks we got search demand for the cross halter neck top up by 800% I think it was 840 something like that and um, we drove 46,000 people to the category on their on their website organically completely for free because we ranked number one for it we sold out the product and we won the most innovative social campaign of the year but I just think people are ignoring the influence that TikTok is having offline off TikTok and on Google so I think that's really how we should think about TikTok search it's not just on on the platform but also off the platform as well